best episode of the whole season. Love it. And I didn't even have to wait until an OVA to get an episode solely dedicated to ne- to the Neko. What is it? Ne- Nekoma. Nekoma? Yeah. And it's a two arc one, a two episode arc. Yes. But why? There's only 12 episodes. What That's about the back? <laughs> like, just, just give up on it. Cool. Like, We're oh really going to get God. Like that one but, match. There better be a season five because <laughs> I'm just so like blue balled here. It's like, I what's was... going on, man? podcast week four of the fall 2020 season on this show we'll be discussing the current season of the anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have shred hello next up we have ku hello next up we have taylor hi and finally we have sasha bun kai <laughs> all right um we only have uh just one piece of anime news real quick just basically the demon Slayer movie just came out in japan last friday uh, biggest box office weekend of any movie basically like did twice as much as frozen 2 and you know disney is huge in japan so that's how that's how huge this movie did even though you know it's still covid going around but it's japan so i guess i guess they're fine i don't know the only movie i care about that it beat was your name suck it i think Dude, i think it's just i think one thing of you will actually beat your name in japan too but yeah yeah it's as i predicted Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. Complete total. <laughs> and and uh, what what's your name about again? Ah yes, it's about that girl who has no name. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> close. So close. Yep. But yeah, I don't know. Crazy <laughs> success for this movie. Um, I, I still think it's very weird that a lot of you went to see it during COVID. But again, Japan. Japan. Who cares? Yeah. Listen, man. If there's one country that probably has the healthiest conditions. For watching a movie, it's Japan. Or Actually, it's Taiwan. <laughs> Japan can follow up. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. And so um, let's, let's just call it a tie where no one won. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> oh my god. so that's that's just it for the Steven Star movie. We're moving next. We're moving on to Fire Force. Uh, so thankfully, this was the last episode of this. This Hajima arc was just really random. I don't know. I just I felt like the way it ended was really random. Like it was. Let's pick up our stuff and leave. Yeah. Again, like, we are protectors. Dude, Karan was badass though. Yeah. It's like, dude. He, I mean, he was like the best part of this episode, basically. But that was like. True. I, felt, I mean, it was, the, it was the best part. But this whole this whole episode and then the whole arc is just again again going to Sasha's prediction highs and lows, man. We just. It's just these authors can't be consistent. It's sad. I gotta <laughs> tell you guys, I, I like shows. To me, a good show has consequences. Like for not for every single action, but for these main points in a show, there has to be a consequence. There has to be something that happens as a result of it. So you guys mentioned Charon. Like that scene with him, imagine if he had given up both of his arms in that case, and you'd be like, Oh man, one that would show how powerful this kid could be. Two, it shows up this guy's at his limit, and you know his days of being a protector are pretty much limited to just him foot stomping people. And then he'd have to like <laughs> adjust his fighting style, but still make it because he's that gangster. So that would add even more value to his character. But nothing happens besides he's exhausted. They hit the moon, and nobody seems to have noticed such a powerful blast. Like, ah. Uh... Yeah, that's he said. He says he's exhausted, and just Trev just walks up, like walks it out too. So. Yeah, it... I feel like the only thing that it really showed is just like actually how strong the guy is. The guy is just uh, just seems nuts. Really, really, that's it. I mean, I, I legitimately thought like the kid was either gonna. Uh, there was actually a part of me that thought he was gonna die, just like when that guy with the uh, the smoke arm, like he just started walking up to the kid. Yeah, I thought Kuberno like the, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of I'm hating it. The, the, I'm hating the kid, and I hate that of the fifth pillar. They're just <laughs> just two she's, terrible she's pillars like, that they announced. It's like, so annoying. Did nothing this whole time. There's like she no, never does no anything. point. I mean, I don't know. This felt like even more of a waste of time. Like she did nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I mean, her ability is basically is just one of those where she just predicts. That's really all she's like. I guess useful for, and she has like some fire damage, like really nothing. 
but then I mean it's it's like I mean really the only thing was just Karan or Charon uh just we just showed like how strong he can be um but then like, the one thing I was like really not wanting was just everybody to basically get away again like like what had happened I thought at least like if they're gonna get away like somebody has to die kind of like what like Sasha was saying or something that, like something had to give and like really nothing happened besides just you found out more, like a little, little bit more about Hajima and how they're just in it for the money which it, um and they, it sounds like the guy like they um uh, were just what they were wanting to make like another Amaterasu but but he's actually like okay with the fact of like uh making one where it's not dude Vulcan was actually a really good part of this episode too now thinking back about it yeah his character is the only one that was redeemable in this in terms of like a logical standpoint of character development like okay now he's come full circle and he is going to be trying to create one to outdo his ancestors one that doesn't require um a sacrifice right but yeah i don't know I, at the moment the show focuses too much on fan service is the moment i know it's gonna be a bad episode so as soon as arrow was like i can't get out of here she's close combat oh well, the previous one Shadow. i'm like oh. Gosh. Oh, wait, was that the previous episode? That was last week. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. No, we're I still haunting him to this day, apparently. <laughs> dude, yeah, yeah. We, we, we talked about it last week, too. We said, like, dude, that it was unnecessary. It just jumped out. Like, where they, they didn't need it. Yeah. I mean, it's running throughout the show, so it's expected, but yeah. Yeah. Know. And then, like, that whole scene of him playing the video games, the Grand Counselor or whatever his name is, Chancellor of. I think Whatever. it was the president. Yeah. President. Dude, that's just a terrible. Man, that, he's like, he's he's invested so much time and money in hiding the truth and doing all these things. And it's like, oh, yeah, we're just going to call off that, that kill that hit on Licht. And uh, I'll just talk very <laughs> bluntly with you guys so we can get this done just, in five minutes. It felt, all yeah. your Everything just felt so rushed. Like, yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it was just well, really weird. Actually, actually, I thought it was a pretty good representation of like how naive or ignorant he is or he's just very direct because with the with the with the concept of him constantly playing video games right and then they did that uh like that still shot of his eyes when vulcan came in and said you know i can build a second one without a sacrifice with his eyes lighting up like that it reminded me of a child who was just doing whatever they can to survive because it, like in the end of the day at the end of the day they were doing it for the greater good right like he was telling Shimmer. So he says. Right, so he says, right. But right. he was telling Shimmer, like, wouldn't you sacrifice your life to save 15 million people? And then Shimmer was like, yeah, I would lay my life down to save as many as I can. So, like, what's what's the difference between sacrificing one person for this reactor that's improving people's quality of life with Shinra sacrificing himself to do the exact same thing? And then it's basically, you know, that's, that's all we have. We're scared. We want everyone to survive. And that's why we're doing this. So if you can do something that's that does that gives us the same results, but that has like no sacrifices involved, like that would be great. So I think they're trying to just showcase that the the CEO or the president, he just a wants money, or he's he's for profit, and also he's he is trying to work for the better of the people, supposedly. So that's what I took from that scene. I mean, yeah. sure, but like, like, it still could have been like executed better. Like, it didn't. No, no, no for, for yeah. sure, for sure. Really, the only scene that I hated was just like was just kind of like just the fight, just in general, just like how how it wrapped up. Um, because again, I'm just I'm just tired of everybody just running away. It's 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 so it's I just mean, getting so annoying. And again, this whole thing was started because the fucking fifth or the other pillar, the other chick, the electric chick, she like basically made the kid go out of control and. Combined with like that infernal thing that started this, that was like completely unnecessary. And then she's like, yeah, just backs away. So, yep. Yep. Fun uh, time. I, I don't know. I, yeah, it, it, it is very confusing and it's very open ended, but th at least there was some kind of like drive to the plot now. So now it's not just, you know, Evangelist versus the, the firefighters or the fire force team. It's <laughs> Hajima, uh, Evangelist, and the, the fire force team so it's just, i don't know i just i really just can't buy the whole like alliance between like it company and, and hijima it just like everything went too fast yeah, no. and like they didn't like they didn't build the steps to get there like it just it was right just... no for sure it felt it felt very rushed and very forced as well but 
I, I still think they they pulled it off in a way where like from my point of view i can kind of see where they're going and then like their principles for why they're doing what they're doing what you, would you guys think of like the kids connection and the the smoke arm guy terrible. or the, the ashy guy terrible you like <laughs> it's, that's i thought it was weird, weird. it's a really fucking weird. fucked up relationship where like you basically i forgot what the term is so it's like where you just give him back to his abuser like he's just got to get abused by by him like in the, the experiments over and over again and they make it sound like Stockholm it's supposed to be a syndrome. good thing yeah it, they make it sound like it's a good thing it's like you just basically give him back to his abuser yeah, yeah. like that it's like and how they depict it in the in the show like i guess it kind of makes sense but if you if you try to like like put in irl logic into it yeah it's really fucked up right like stockholm syndrome or whatever but i mean based on the kid's background story it would make sense that like corona is the guy that can kind of help solve or like balance out his his issues that he has internally well, like but even like his messaging saying like you just say weak it's just it felt so forced to try and make him stay in his character where it's like it just doesn't make sense to say that to him to this kid who's obviously been traumatized i don't know it just doesn't no, line it, up. It, it makes it, it makes sense but it's just weird like I, I think it makes sense but it's just like to us it's weird and like, like how they, that would work they even out. said like in the show that it's weird but just because you say it doesn't mean it's justified so right 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 yeah I, I just yeah, don't the like show it. Goes in many different directions. I don't think it knows where it's actually gonna go. It just feels <laughs> yeah. like they're going for everything at once, and sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. So it's just it felt like a God of High School episode, honestly, where you're like, okay, that happened. These guys left. This guy is gonna become this guy's uncle, but he's really creepy and talks in really weird ways. And Shinra is willing to sacrifice his life. He's probably gonna come up with some crazy power soon now. I don't know. It's 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 too much and they're not tying anything up. Like typically when one thing happens, there's a result to it. Like one you know how they say like when one door closes, another one opens up. Mm. Here all the doors are open, man. There ain't no door closing. <laughs> what doors? There's no doors. It's an open wide map or floor. I don't even know. Like there's know. basically no more doors. They they blew down all the walls, you know. Bring back the captain of the fourth, get him in a hot tub scene. That's all I care for. Okay, <laughs> thanks. He just wants okay. that fire. All right. That's right. I did not. I did not expect that from you, but okay. Hey, I'm just saying, man. That that's, that that will be the most entertaining episode yet. His you see steam coming up, bubbles like he farts a little bit. That's your humor for the episode. Okay. He's just like, Ooh, you know, I was, I was, yeah. I was with you, Sasha, until that moment. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, Mister Intern, I see you. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, but I don't think I really have much more on this episode, though. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. I'm with Red. I don't. I don't think. And I feel no sympathy whatsoever for Nantucket. Like that kid, <laughs> he, he, he could go die. For all I cared his mom with no eyes, man. She be Bro, that's so fucked up. Like the kid literally did nothing wrong. It's just he's like so circumstances that just uh, fucked him over. So like I, I feel for the kid, but but the way that the writing is, like yeah, you you kind of don't really care. But like if you really think about it, dude, that that kid has like such bad luck, man. It's it's really unfortunate. Yeah, it is. It should be like Inuyashiki, where that robot just comes out and <laughs> kills his whole family. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, Dang. I'm done. <laughs> just, I'm, done. <laughs> I'm done. Just see so how his hand, like a gun. Kind of kind of like the yeah. Kurabara picture you have right now. I'll just do that pose and just start, start, Dude. start chatting bang for everyone. That, that show was crazy. Bang, 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 bang. But yeah. Anyways, Fire Force. Hopefully, next arc is a good arc. But... It's gotta be right. I just like want them to just get all like it's just get rid of that necessary oh, stuff and just get it on with it. Like, it hey guys, like... the eighth is my protector. Yeah, dude, shut up. It's like I'm just gonna bail and then we'll just leave and fight for another day. <laughs> Hopefully, they just strap him down and beat his legs with hammers. By the way, Jeez. did any of you buy the president's excuse for? Hey, what about Dr. Giovanni, you know, who's tied to the evangelist and it <laughs> kidnaps people and steals their kidneys? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, 70% of the world works for us. We, we can't be responsible for everybody. <laughs> That's such a lie. Sir, we no, are... It makes sense. No, it makes sense. If you it, think about it, it. At face value, it makes sense. But that's like Wells Fargo saying, oh, we don't know what our employers do with some of these bad deals. Come hey, on, hey man, <laughs> our manager set up all these accounts and tra charging these overdrafts, but that ain't our problem, bro. That's right, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot, but yeah. <laughs> Sir, we are a limited liability corporation. 
Hence the limited liability. All right, replace Wells Fargo with, I don't know, <laughs> any other big bank that's gotten in hot water for it. But it's all the same stuff, man. Everybody is trying to just shoo, curb their way around it. So Fire Force, get yourself together, guys. Pretty much. Dude, it's been following like the same thing, though. You know, like, when there's a, there, like, when there's a lull, and then it gets good again. So, and then a lull gets good again. So it should be getting good, right? Until it breaks that, uh, and then we it. fall into an even deeper depression. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's always a possibility. Who knows? Yep, right. but hopefully no. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for Fire Force, and then we're gonna uh, move on next to uh, we'll go next to Jujutsu Kaisen because um, this is the only other show I watched this week. Those are the only two shows. That's how behind I am. Uh, yep. I told you I'm gonna be busy <laughs> this semester. Oh god, so, it's fine. All right. Um. So I know how. I think last week I, was, I kept saying how oh they said um someone's gonna die so we're just, I hope they follow up with their message with like the promise and it didn't happen I guess t- this episode so I got baited uh, I got baited no the, he might have died that's why he didn't uh take over the body once uh the I don't demon think Minker's gonna die so I mean maybe he dies and comes back to life I don't know see guys I, this isn't uh, this isn't a uh, talentless no no. That's not the point, Stren, <laughs> because that's that didn't, that didn't even that didn't even happen in that show. So, all right, all right. But um, no, I, I was like saying like I I was hoping that they actually go for it. Like like again, like I was saying, have consequences. But it seems like it just seems like you know like whenever um demon guy comes out, he's just gonna like get his body back in the nick of time again. So yeah, I don't know. It's oh god, uh. I'm trying to think. I remember if I had any issues with this. I mean, it was just like a. No, I don't really think I think I had any issues with it. Taylor, well, you can uh, talk about your issue you had with this episode. Um, oh, about Taylor for a second. <laughs> I mean, like it's not like a big issue or anything, but like I got a little bit annoyed when his hand got cut off and he <laughs> didn't seem to notice or care. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, he didn't notice. He like I he. Just, I just, he immediately like tried to like stop the bleeding, but I like how he yeah okay I know he didn't but like, pain at like... All. <laughs> yes and like I mean so I t- I told Stratton and he said oh well you know it could have been the shock which I gave him credit for in the first you know like fifteen it's like ten second scene after that where I, I I gave him that like he could be in shock but then mm. later on once his fingers were burning off and he was like still preparing to like fight. And there was just no pain that seemed to register with him at all. I mean, it kind of like goes back to what Sasha was saying earlier about um, like consequences. Like mm-hmm. it just feel like that, that just annoyed me because that should have been a consequence. Yeah. There should have been even just like a quick second of like, like a grunt of pain. But I don't think that ever happened. See, the, the only so, thing I can say. He was not pain. Oh, real quick, David. He was not pain, though, when he, lied, he was like burning. His fingers were getting burned off. But. Yeah, but not when his hand got chopped off. I mean, consistency here. <laughs> like, all right, all right, well, like to to be honest with you, with uh, like when I've like suffered fatal like injuries like that. Um, yes, cool. At, at the heat of the moment, I mean, I <laughs> never, I never got my hands chopped off, right? But I have, I have had uh, like my, my bicep torn when I was snowboarding and I fell down at a high speed, high pace, and then I didn't feel any pain whatsoever. And then when I woke up, like, my arm was bent one way, and then my shoulder oh. was in another direction. God. And then everyone was looking at me thinking I was dead or something, and then they had this, like, this look of fright, right? So I was like, oh, damn, I fucked up my right arm pretty bad. And I didn't feel anything until, like, I, I kind of regained conscious, and I was in the ER room sitting down. And then that's when the pain started to come in. So, yeah, I think it's just with, with the fear, death, and the adrenaline rush of this, like, S grade class demon. I I would give him the benefit of the doubt that it's just that adrenaline rush that's just like getting rid of the pain in a sense. Like where it's like what Johan said, what Johan said in chat. It's the adrenaline. Right. That's why here. Right. He's that's basically it. But um, the only other thing <laughs> I would say is like, um, this. I mean, they did hint that this guy has some weird like athletic ability. So that's the only thing. Like, mm-hmm. I think he he probably saw some hidden power that that like makes him super strong or super resistant like how the first episode he was like breaking all those records so like that's like <laughs> that's like meter dash or whatever yeah that's like the only other thing i can say but like yeah that they just didn't explain yet but also cool yeah the only other thing too is like like 
when you're dislocating, like you're dislocating is like different than like the blood loss because you would feel that like you you spo- you're supposed to get like you know lightheaded from like the blood loss and so and I don't well, know. well, I I don't really remember the exact details of what happened. Yeah. All I remember was me going really fast. I like I fucked up, and then people looking at me like something like something fell off or something and then i didn't feel shit until i was in the er room just sitting down and that's when everything started to settle so uh, but i mean i still think it was weird though like uh, even with the adrenaline like i don't know he just like like he did not like acknowledge yeah he didn't acknowledge his lost hand at all during that, that whole point like he was like i don't know he was like then, super, super decisive were... like started giving like like commands to the other guy it's like i don't know I, I guess it's hard to explain if you've never been in a situation that's kind of similar to that but again there's lots of factors here right like this guy was frozen in fear due to the demon's power right and then there's also the fight or flight uh, uh psyche aspect here as well um so there's so many things going on that i guess that would kind of like put him in a like like in a certain mindset where the pain yeah, wouldn't totally bother different much. Headspace. Right. Yeah. And then you have to understand this guy is physically like very endurant. Uh, that's, he's that's very That's like strong. the one I like, yeah, to, like believe the most, right? right? Or if what, accept the most. That like, yeah. I, and then like, yeah. and then he never really cared about like him being injured. He just didn't want to die. Like that, that, that sole aspect of I haven't, like, I want to die a proper death. Like that's what was on his mind the whole time. So, if he was focusing super hard on that and I thought he was going to die, like I would get why like the, the physical injuries doesn't bother him as much as his like mental fortitude at that point, you know? Yeah. I mean, I can accept that for this scene. I guess I just felt like it might be indicative of like future issues that I have with that. I mean, at some point, I just feel like there does need to be pain (laughs) there does need to be like right like some sort of consequence i mean like another thing like and i say this i still like the show um so i'm not saying i dislike the show but like the scene where i forget her name but the girl she was about to be eaten by one of those curses and she just like Uh had a like funny comment about it something like you know i know your face i'll come after you something something dumb Where, where she obviously like where she just like didn't seem scared at all like, it just, I guess, like, <laughs> just something about the tone of the show isn't sitting right with me. Like, I can't tell if it wants no, to be, I, like, I get more comedy or more serious. And it's it's making it difficult for me. To, like, if they just want to go down, like, a comedy route with, like, some interesting lore, fine. Then pick that. But, like, I kind of thought that we would get a little bit more attached to the characters. And if they don't have some more realistic reactions, like, I, I don't know. No, that would I, be troubling for me. I totally get what you're talking about. Like, that's why like i praise higurashi a lot because it, it nails that tonal shift correctly or mm-hmm. this one like um even like when they were ending the building uh they they um like they had like the comedic I mean, well before that like they made it seem most serious like they had the scene with like the mom worrying about her son and like you know the main guy was like saying how like we we gotta save this guy and it had a serious tone and then once they were mm-hmm. in like they like they had like the comedy moments of like with like the dog and then like how like yeah so that part was like really weird, like because because they were figuring out how the other guy he was freaking out how big like this like domain was, and like how like how strong like the special grade was, and then like and then the other two just had this weird comedy moment, and then it shifts to like a, like uh, the serious tone, and then yeah it goes it shifts back to the girl being eaten by the frog, like yeah it's it's kind of jarring, and it, like the thing is you could even like solve it fairly simply like. If they had just, like, had that dog scene, for example, like, right outside of the building. Once they were out of, like, eye shot of the other people or whatever. But if they had it outside the building before they got the full feel of, oh, shit, we're, this is a bad situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would have worked then. Why wait and then realize, oh, this is way stronger than we thought it was going to be and then have the comedic moment? Like, it's just, it's, like, little tiny things, but they're bothering me. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Like the balancing of the comedy and the serious aspect, it, it's it's not done well. So in this episode, but uh, I, feel, I feel like this is going to be the turning point, right? Like, is this going to still be like a banger or is this just going to be a mm-hmm. flop in the next couple of episodes? Because yeah. judging with how they recover from this, like someone's supposed to die, right? But 
from the looks of it, everyone's going to make it out just fine. Don't okay. want the cliffhanger. Nah, it's 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 <laughs> a like it's a demon dog. No one really cares. But Ooh, uh, right, but with like Itadori not not re- like reclaim his body right away at the end, like that that's the cliffhanger. So depending on how they recover from this in the next episode, this could be the make or break moment. Yeah, but we'll see. I feel like they're collecting his fingers way too fast. <laughs> I mean, they're only at three. There's twenty. Yeah, so... but still, it, it just seems so random. You find a finger just like with the special, like the special demon in like this random ass location. Maybe that's why he's so special. Yeah, I suppose. Right. <laughs> I, sure. Sure. It makes me wonder too if like some of the things that we're talking about. It makes me wonder if this is like an anime only problem, and if it's not really so much of an issue like in the manga. Because, I mean, I feel like the comedy is strong. I laugh more at this than I do at most things, <laughs> which uh, I, I'm not, like, yeah. really a big fan of comedy in general, but I like the comedy in here, and I like the heavier moments. I just don't like how they're done together. So, right. I mean, like, I wonder if it's just, like, an anime adaption issue. I mean, it's a possibility. But also, maybe maybe you guys are just trying to throw in too many IRL aspects into this. Like, you guys have to remember, it's, it's still an anime. You know, you can't expect it to be too realistic. Um, yeah. there's, well, there's freaking natural in this. No, I mean, but right. the thing is, I'm... then my favorite anime are the ones that are realistic. I mean, yeah, I'll still watch it, and it might be watchable, and I might like right. it, but it will, it just wouldn't be one of my favorites. You I know mean, what I'm I mean? Not... Right? No, I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. For me, it's it's the tonal shifts that's like the bothersome part. Not like like not trying to put like the realism thing in. So mm-hmm. that's that's like my main issue is the tonal shift. Right. Yeah. Cause like even like when he was saying like he didn't want to die, just it felt like such a weird thing for his character. Cause like he was like he started off as like like this confident like go getter, and like I guess and like we just came off from that that easy victory from the batting yeah. the abandoned building. So like I mean I understand like this is a super strong demon, but like just that shift, like I don't know. It was just... Well, uh, well, uh, and again, even like it, it, it. Sorry, go ahead, Ko. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like, if I was to compare this to any other anime, I would compare it to Demon Slayer, which has quite a bit of serious moments and pretty, like, some comedic moments and really over-the-top comedic moments as well. Mm. But, like, the way that they structure their story makes it run so much more smoothly, especially, like, the opening sequence. I mean, you don't always see, like, Tanjiro and friends, like, you know, suffering so much pain. But, like, you realize in that first episode when they set it up, his family died. He does feel pain. He went through all this training to get to where he is. It just feels like there is like effort and so- just enough realism there to like make them relatable. But we haven't really had that yet with with this show in terms of like training or effort. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And and then like when it comes to the humor, I feel like we just it's, I don't know. It's just weird. I, I feel like it should be like Demon Slayer the way that they made it work in that show, but it's just not happening. Yeah, because we anyway that's just, last. Yeah, we don't know anything about it. like these characters because like. Besides, like, the main yeah. guy and his grandpa dying, we don't know anything about him. We just, just met, barely know anything about like, the, the other guy. And then we just met the girl last episode. And we, we had a little bit of her backstory, but, like, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. We'll we have, have to see how it goes. Yeah. But then that's the problem with Shonen in general. It, I feel like Shonen in general, it's it's very hit or miss because they try to, like, appeal to, like, such a broad audience. Maybe that's why, mm-hmm. like, we're not I, feeling it. I feel like yeah, just a maybe. lot, a lot of short and authors like, I don't know, just like I think they rely, they like they, they're relying so much on like what they think is popular, and not like actually what like, what is good. Like I don't know, there's like this disconnect it seems between like, like, like the audience, the actual audience, and like the demogra- like what the, the author thinks oh, the audience, yeah. audience is. It seems like this show, yeah, it could. I mean, going back, even this and Fire Force, it seems like they both could, like, just cut back on the comedy, and it would have been, like, like, it would have been more consistent, where, I mean, I guess this one, I maybe it's too early to say, because it's just, it is, like, the, the, what, fourth episode, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I feel like it's too early as of right now, and then, you know, I I can't, like, blame the, the animators or the author or whoever, like, for them to try something, because you can't make everyone a banger, right? So, yeah. Um. It, it, like I said, it is kind of refreshing compared to what we've been getting for the past couple of years, I guess, with anime. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually watched a show in an anime, but uh, I think Hero. for what I, you watch plenty of them. yeah, but yeah, but that's that's different. But um, okay. I think for what I think for what it's given us so far, 
I think it's okay. Like it's it's passable, it's, you know. Well, the like, comedy in these shows are fine. It's just more of like where they're placed. Right. Like right. Uh, like don't throw comedy in like what's supposed to be kind of like a serious moment. Right. Uh, um and you know, like, or like or like any of those type of things. Like you know, comedy should be like on those like off episodes where they're just maybe trying to set stuff up. Mm-hmm. They're just kind of like making, but yeah, there was like way too many points in this episode where the, the comedy was just didn't fit. Right, because this is the first episode where I've kind of thought that you know this is like an average show, but then like the first two three episodes, I was like, man, this show is fucking awesome. It's hilarious. Like yeah. I love the MC, yeah. and then now it's where it's starting to fall off. So, you know, like I said, um, sometimes the best parts is in the beginning. <laughs> it just lets well, you down, but we'll this is the- wait and see. This is the first episode I actually d- didn't care for the comedy. I thought the the comedy on the other three episodes were all spot on. Right, right. But like I said, they can't all be bangers. I mean, if right, they are, right. this would be a godly show. But it's it's, yeah. it's kind of whatever. I'm point. still like I'll still there... I'll still watch the full twenty four episodes. And I'll wait till like the end of the first season for yeah. like, I give judgment. Right. So it's only because we have yeah. to talk. Yeah, I was just gonna say we that. have to talk like week by week that we get to this point. So right. Yeah. There's something I find really endearing about the show. Like, I like the characters. We don't know a lot about them, but what little we do know, I like them. And I really like the art style. I like the character design. I like the humor, and I like the more serious parts. I actually really like everything about the show. If it just, like, adjusted a little bit here and there, right. I think it would be great. I, I find it very endearing. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, like, does anybody know if this is, like, a long-running manga or if it's... I assume it is. I'm pretty sure no, it's still... Yet. I'm pretty sure it's, it's in still, Jump. So yeah, it's in so. Shonen Jump. So I'm pretty sure it's still ongoing. I don't remember when it came out okay. though. It, I think I assume it's like this it feels like it came out around the same time as like as like Demon Slayer and um, Promise Neverland. So, hmm. All right. Unless, well, I think I think Demon Slayer got its anime two years after, so maybe it came out like two years before this. So we'll see. I mean, I got through like all of Vampire Diaries back in the day, and that definitely started out pretty trash for the first season. So uh, if I can get through that, <laughs> I-, I can commit to this for a while and see if it grows into itself. <laughs> I guess, I guess. But yeah, I still love the end, like the end credits with this though. Like the music is just so Why chill. Are you dude. Your <laughs> mm-hmm. You sit your ass down. Hey, dance stuff is just not my thing. My God, God I love the dance. He's a hater, Shen. How do you... Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I got nothing else. End credits, yeah, best credit. Yes. All right. So. And end <laughs> scene. So that's gonna be it for uh, Jutsu Kaisen, and uh, I guess we'll just move. Um, we can move to Haikyuu. Yeah. Okay. And... So I think was was this was, was this my episode, show, and I love killer? it. Best episode of the whole season. Love it, and I didn't even have to wait until an OVA to get an episode solely dedicated to neck to the neko. What is it? Ne- Nekoma. Nekoma? Yeah. And it's a two arc one, a two episode arc. Yes. But why? There's only twelve episodes. What That's about the match with <laughs> Karasuno? Like, just, give, just give up on it, cool. like, We're Oh gonna get my god! Like that one like, match. There better be a season five because <laughs> I'm just so like blue balled here. It's like I what's was, going on, man. I was saying like I'm fine with the Nekoma episodes, but you but at least finish the current fucking like match. Like one set is done, and then all of a sudden it's like, all right, let's move to a net. Let's just see what's going on, on the other side <laughs> right? of the. They, the gave, uh, the they gave the people what they want. <laughs> you mean the girl? Like I, said, I guess I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm fine with it, but it's just it's a terrible placed episode. Like it's just move it back further. Like, oh, like we didn't God. have to see it now, but I, dude, I'm kind of scared that this is going to be the only match we see this this season. I don't think there's going to be another sure match. I'm pretty sure it is going to be the only match. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know, dude. I know. Like it's basically we're watching a match of like a team I don't care about, and. uh it's like I don't know they're, they're focusing on other parts, but I'm fine. I'd rather see that, like Nakama stuff than uh, the stuff on like the the current school they're 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 they're, they're uh, facing just because I don't care about the school. I feel I like care. I feel like it's gonna be a match against the school they're playing against right now, and then I think it's gonna the last episode will open up. M- remember that uh, the guy that Hane Yanatsuki plays, the one with the uh, eyebrows that looks owl weird dude. with the white hair. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. No, not the owl dude. Different character. Um, uh, the hey 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 guy. No, he's not. No, the other, the other guy. It's a different guy. Yeah, he was also kid, in the training owl. camp. Me, the the other little giant, the one with the white hair, or yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, he's oh, an yeah. Owl. I, yeah. He's no, he's a, 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 a seagull or something. 
Some sort of I don't bird. know what you guys. The owl guy is Bo Katoa, and that's not. Right, right, no, no, no. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's I know no what you're talking about. But I want to say he's more of a seagull or something. Well, anyways, I think that maybe yeah. the end of the season will end with them like starting a match against that team. That's that's what I think. Sure. Oh, I waited three <laughs> years for this, guys. Three, four years for this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, maybe, oh, maybe god. they'll uh, they'll just decide to speed run a bunch of stuff. Who knows? Or maybe they'll yeah. announce like a fifth season right after this. Who knows? Maybe they'll just take a break. I tell you what, if they don't announce a season five, I'm just going to read the manga after this. Really? Because... I'm already. Yeah, no, I'm going to read no. the manga too. Reading a sports <laughs> manga is so boring. Dude, I'm telling you, just give it a chance. This is, I I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I, like, I don't know how to explain it. But if if you would give Haikyuu a chance, maybe you'll like it. See, before Haikyuu, like I was already just giving shit about anime, like anime sports. Uh, yeah, sports anime. Sorry, I said yeah. That and now you um, love IQ, so the maybe anime, this your but mind. not. The, but it's just no, because I'm not gonna watch still shots of people hitting balls. No See, were, were, were you wrong about the anime? Right? Uh, Did you change your mind about IQ? Well, yeah, but that's a whole different okay. thing. Okay, so, okay. Well, I'm saying that there's a possibility that your mind might change uh, once you no, start. I don't think so. Uh, okay, rather... okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather read other manga that are not sports. I mean, I'm going to side with Stratton on this because I've caught up to all of Attack on Titan manga. And as much as I love it, and as much as it's still absolutely fantastic, it is not the same as watching the anime. Like, all the action scenes, like, even though I still get into it, are just not as banger. They're just not. And so, like, I I think it would be, like, the same thing with Haikyuu. I'll read it anyways, and I'm sure I'll like it fine. But I, I see Stratton's point where it would just be nice to get it all animated. We've gotten this far. Why not just go all the way? Right, right. No, I get that. I'm not, and I'm not saying that it's going to correlate directly to the manga, right? But what I'm saying is is that you you had this perspective about the, the sports genre anime in general, and you thought those would be trash or whatever. Mm. And then he picked up Haikyuu, and he ended up loving it, right? So maybe if he gave it a chance, he might also change his mind as well. Yeah, it could be. You know, especially if you really like Haikyuu as much <laughs> as I think you do. So, I mean, because I'm, I'm loving it, and I want more, but the, the animators just aren't giving it to me. So, how, depending <laughs> on how desperate I am, I might just resort to reading the whole damn series, you know? Like, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Like, I don't, like, you're right. I, I think they're going to do, like, the first, like, the first two or three rounds, and then that's it. They're not even going to get to, like, the quarterfinals or something from how they're, like, pacing it so far. The one thing though about this, like these last couple episodes, I do think the uh, the animation has picked up though. It looks better. Like I don't think I've really had any kind of complaints with either one of these episodes so far. <laughs> so we'll see if maybe it picks up or if it and continues. We will, and we will leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I won't. I won't mention anything else. But the, the animation is improving. It but, is it's positive. No, but there's Who's no action. Exploding? There's no action. Why would you increase the animation on the like storytelling? Well, like dude, Rio's Rio's was kind of action though. Like that's what you like. No, no, that's great, and, that, and that's yeah. fine. But let's yeah. continue that trend. Yes, and <laughs> then we'll keep it that way. Otherwise, if you're going to spend all your budget on the backstory and make the animation look really good, like you better not do like a like a daughter or whatever. And then like when they go back to the actual match, everything's all choppy. They ran out of but like money, time, whatever. <laughs> or like, like uh, seven shitty. deadly sins, like that one. Oh, yeah, don't even get me started. <laughs> Dude, if they pull a seven deadly sins, <laughs> I'm done. I'm just gonna read the manga. Dude, fuck this shit. <laughs> I you mean, know? if I was a seven deadly sins fan, I would never watch that trash again. Dude, I I was watching the seven deadly sins and I just stopped. Like I just couldn't. I saw that shit and I was like, I'm I'm done. Like Escanora was so cool when he finally popped up, and then like you know, give a few more episodes and then they just like. I would never look at Meliodas the same way again, dude. It's <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god. So yeah, if Haikyuu devolves into that, then yeah, straight manga the rest of the way. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I, I really don't have much more to say about this. I mean, it's always cool to see like like the main characters that we've seen like thing throughout the like the first three seasons, <clears throat> um, and just yeah. to kind of see like more of their backstory. People you actually care about and and you want to see. I thought that was really cool. I just thought it was a really p- poorly placed episode, and then it also just makes me fear that they're not gonna like. They're basically just gonna probably get through this match. And that's about it. 
yeah no like I'm, I'm i'm loving it i love the development of like each team but that's if you have the time frame to add that stuff in you know yeah like yeah. which they haven't done for the team that they're actually that uh Karasuna is playing against right now they haven't done that for the opposing team yeah and, and i don't I know why you have to like you would have to at this point right why would you like yeah. showcase nekuma and then not the school that Karasuna was actually playing against yeah you think it would have another two episodes i mean come on really yeah you think you would have uh kind of uh had us like try or to like show more of a backstory of those characters to actually connect with us more because right. like i still don't care about this team and i think it's getting that it's like i don't know how long it, it's like too long before it's just like they start introducing characters and you just don't care because i i got that feeling in the third season because i still really don't care about any of those i, I did not care about like any of that anybody else from that pre- other team oh yeah i still but, hate them yeah i i felt i felt like they they started introducing or kind of like showing their backstories too late in the season and it got to the point i just didn't care right right um, well yeah because it like goes back to like how whenever you and i rewatch that match against um oikawa school and like i always make it you turn it off right after karasuno wins because i can't stand to see them sad when the other team loses because they've yeah. sp- spent so much time building up like everybody's hopes and dreams and why they're doing it but they don't and they did that for everybody but then like mysteriously very conspicuously left it out for this team they're playing against for a whole season. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's the curse of sports, sport animes in general. They just don't get the time or love that they deserve, to be fair. <laughs> like, honestly. Like, yeah, if but... you, you can take away some some Sky animes, you can take away some of this other trash anime, and then, like, focus on actual good animes, and then I think we would be way better off. Like, we need quality, not not just quantity of, like, shit animes, you know? Cool, the, right. the industry disagrees with you. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, like, I get it. It makes money, so why not? You know, just keep pumping up trash and collect money, I guess. But it's, it's so sad, dude. There's so much wasted potential here. And not just with this, but other, like, sports animes, too, in general. Seems like we have technical difficulties here. What the hell was that about? Also, I forgot to put it in streaming mode before we started, so that's why you hear the noises. My bad. It's okay, man. We've only been doing it for a year. It's okay. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. That means we should know better. Taylor, are you back? I'm back. Okay. Sorry. That was weird. I wonder if, I wonder if Discord just crashed. Did you guys crash too? No, no, I didn't crash. Okay, the last yeah, I've heard... never seen that happen before. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, it... Wi-Fi is still good, so. Yep, yeah. everything was fine. So that was weird. But uh, oh. last thing I think, last thing I heard though was David saying that the the industry disagrees with you. Because Ku was saying that like, we need. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone always wants more quality over quantity, but I'm just saying. This... Right, in in a, in a perfect world, that would be the ideal situation, right? But I get it. You know, just pump out whatever, make as much money as you can, and then go from there. But it's it, like to me, it's it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's called it's called capital base entertainment. Sure, sure, David. Use your big words, you sexy, <laughs> you sexy person. You talk dirty to me with your fancy words. <laughs> the industry was it the entertainment industrial complex? That's right. Keep saying it, David. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I'm 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 no IQ. Like I like I like the episode, but I feel like just it's just bad timing. So I don't really have much like positive things to say for this week i got nothing. i mean i like the episode just it was a bad place place right, right. i mean overall i thought it was solid everything about it was even though i thought i even saw like the some of the music choices were okay but i mean it's like it's still nothing like the previous seasons though in music mm-hmm. but that's yeah. all i got taylor what yeah. about you uh, i love this episode i have no issues with the placement um you, they could just do this for the rest too. Yep, they can just do this the rest of the season, and I'll be happy. Oh, God. I've got nothing else. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it for IQ. Someone else should be host, because I'm not going to do any more talking for this episode. Okay, so. uh, let me bring up the list, and I can attempt to take it from here. I mean, I'll just do it. Um, it's fine. But I'll pay okay, attention. Fine. I'll pay attention. God, just S out my dreams. <laughs> if you want, go ahead. <laughs> okay, next, let's just go for it and talk about Higurashi. I'm not a part of this one. Go! So, David, you didn't watch this either? <laughs> no, but I saw Taylor's message. Oh, my God. So, um, I guess you can a- you I'll, I'll ask the question. Do you talk about it? Or? I'll ask the question. What's what's all this about? Like, this is this is not a remake. It's uh, it's not a remake, no. So, I, that, that's what I was, like, asking the first couple episodes. Like, is this, like, the true route then? Of, like, so she's, like, 
no or uh was it rika she's gonna know what's gonna happen she's gonna change the future or what at this um, point all that we know is that and this is as far as i can tell this has been like confirmed is that everything going forward is entirely new material so i don't know about it being a true route or anything but so, that's what um, i've read i'll just say like as someone who didn't watch the original i'm still gonna keep watching this and i, I don't have time to watch the original so I'll, well when i'm exactly. not when i'm not behind i just say like I'll, I'll say like so the problem with that though is like what who was talking about before like how you felt about this episode where you just really liked where it went it was crazy it was intense or whatever i don't remember exactly what you said like that feeling that you get from you get that so much more in the original ones and i just don't want you to lose that because if you ever do have the time to go back and watch them it won't be the same you know I, too much i understand you just won't that get perspective that feeling. from people like there's always the people who say like yeah you know like it's always better to to jump jump in like knowing the context but like mm -hmm. at this point like i'm just gonna watch it weekly so i guess like like it wouldn't be fair for me to to criticize it just because like i'm not at the position of knowing the context but i think it's it'll also be nice just having the perspective of someone who just wants to watch just this new one and then yeah and then we can yeah, discuss I'll... like at the end like you know what it was yeah, yeah, we, I'll, I, I'll say that if it was like it was um worth watching the original but then like also i'm just i'm just gonna commit to just watching it weekly yeah right okay. so going into it i'm not going to try to compare it to original or even try to attempt to i'm just going to watch it for a fresh shit kind of like how how uh certain's watching like the, the digimon reboot and then we're giving him oh shit God. for it because it's like it's not as good as the original right i'm just going to go with this with like a clear like clear mindset and just enjoy it for what it is you know and so far i have not been disappointed so <laughs> I, I think i'm good if, if okay. we were to ever like watch the original series like i would just go through it with the same mindset like okay i'll know who the characters are i'll probably know what the what the plot is but like we'll, we'll see how it stacks up compared to this you know sure. because with this episode oh my god the last <laughs> five ten minutes i was i was eating so it was a bad <laughs> idea too but just mind blown dude like oh i'm assuming it was because oh like, it's I'm saying the date was June 22nd, just like the, the ending credit. And this is no, like... it was June 20... 23rd. 23rd, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because so... it was my, my birthday. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So shit Way went to down remember on my birthday, it by. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, so, like, basically the, the scene was that, uh, like, Keiichi was just, like, being paranoid the whole day. And then because of what happened last ep last episode, he thought that uh, Rena was there the whole night watching him, and he couldn't get that thought out of his head. So he woke up that day, you know, like, I think he was pretending or he was, like, sick with a fever. And then, you know, he had to go to clinic, but the clinic was remodeling, so that didn't work. He's going to school. And then he was still, like, at, he actually went to school, and then, like, Rico was trying to cheer him up. You know, like, say, trust your friends. And I think those are words that probably fucked up <laughs> Keiichi in this situation. Uh, so, like, fast forward, he goes back home. Like, his parents are gone on an overnight trip. And then they asked Rena to come over and make lunch for him or dinner for him. And then that's when shit went down, right? So I don't know how it went down in the original. Uh, Not like the, 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 the Where it parted ways from the original was when uh, Rika talked to him at school. When she pulled him aside and was like, trust in your friends i was like what what the fuck are you talking about like this did uh -huh. not happen and from that point on the episode was really exciting for me too because i was like i have no idea Cheer how out. this is gonna go okay. um all right so that so this was a really exciting episode for me too i was on the edge of my seat after that <laughs> right because basically after that rika did not matter anymore at, is at this a point. true route deal david no, or I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like saying just oh okay just because like it feels like it feels like it like yeah from the sounds okay. of it yeah She's just like, fuck it, you're on your own, KG, good luck. Um but yeah, and then like I guess, so I guess from that point on, that's the original part. But yeah, like like you knew shit was gonna happen, like Keiichi was getting more and more paranoid. But then like with the words of what Rika le left him with, he he decided to give uh like uh Reyna a chance, and that's where he fucked up. So she came inside, she's trying to make him dinner, but turns out she was just gonna kill him because she is possessed by the spirit. Like we kind the of the bento box of death. Right. <laughs> And then she's trying to clear like her dad or something. She's going to kill herself after this, so her dad can live a free life, which I still don't get. But I I don't know. And because, then like oh I oh, think no, go ahead. oh go ahead uh, Taylor. Well, uh, well, just because she was trying to like fulfill the curse without her dad being affected, so one person has to die and one person has to go missing. 
So she was just trying to eliminate her dad from being part of either of that equation. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes That's sense, different from what I was to say, so don't ignore me. Yeah. And then, like, the whole, like, fight scene, I guess. Like, I thought that Kichi had to handle things because you have a girl charging at you with a knife, like, to stab you. And then he was able to deflect the knife, right, with a golf club. Like, not, <laughs> like, the, the fat, like, uh, like foot, like, the just the pole. He was able to deflect the knife with the pole of a golf club. And I was like, oh, shit, this guy's got, like, some combat abilities, right? Nope, it was <laughs> fucking luck. And, then, like, the next five or ten minutes was him just getting fucked up by Reyna <laughs> with superhuman strength and a knife. And she was just, like, going at the guy, just stabbing him in the stomach multiple times. And then, for some reason, Keiichi was still alive, and he was trying to fight. He was still able to fight back, but it, it didn't do anything. And like that, that five minute scene of like him getting constantly stabbed was just. Oh and my let's God. note too, the first stab was directly in the heart. <laughs> like right, it was in the upper left portion of his torso. So I was like, "Oh, he's down." And like, you got this ten year old kid who's still like going at it. It's like what? <laughs> also, like, they added in the the little uh, blurred out, like the the blacked out part where she yeah. was like act- where the knife was actually going in. That's new. That made me laugh. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, there's I'm... blood everywhere, but that'll, <laughs> gonna block that'll that. keep people from being traumatized. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, like, I was eating, and I had I had stopped. My, my jaw was open. It was dropping, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought he was going to have a nice dinner. I'm going to have a nice dinner, but nope. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like, that scene was just, like, That's... complete zero to 100 right there. It was it was nuts. That's why you say yeah. good meals for, for Tony Kawa. <laughs> Oh no, it's fine. I think it just it like it worked out perfectly. Like because because right. it, it totally it totally set me up for the atmosphere that like the change in the atmosphere. So again, tonal shifts. Right. No, like I said, this this show is doing like it's it's doing wonders, right? Like I'm enjoying every bit of it so far. So if it's if the original went somewhat different than this and it feels and it was as impactful as this scene, then you know, like I, I'll look forward to it. But yeah. Although I guess the, the ending is leaving me confused because now we're starting a different arc, supposedly. Yeah, you and me both. I have no idea where it's going from here. Like, I'm really... Things no. I was really surprised by were the fact that he didn't die. I was fully anticipating him to be dead by the end of that. And so when he woke up in a hospital, that shocked me. And then hearing that um, Satoko and, and Rika, right, are dead? Yeah. It was those yeah. two? Yeah. That they were dead and Mion seems totally unfazed by it. That was all very sus to me. I was like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd, like, there's some things I know from the original, but this is just even like the way that the arc is structured is different than what I'm used to. So I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, the ending too that made me like kind of cringe and, and like, and like in fright kind of was when the nurse was like all happy oh, yeah. and lucky. And then she, she dropped that, that shift too. It was like, do you feel itching your neck? And then Keiichi just tried to scratch his neck like like Rana does, mm-hmm. and then he just started to scream. It was like, oh man, that was that that moment was done so well. Like I felt that. So that that this is the first time in the series where I've actually felt that like that tension or that, Ooh. Uh, like that. I, I don't know how to describe that 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 cringe. <laughs> like I, I don't know how to describe it. But like when he when he was scratching his neck and he just screamed like that, that got me. So. Awesome. Yeah, it was a really good episode. It's a great show. I got nothing else. Like, it's just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, this episode's a banger, dude. Oh, man, <laughs> it's so good. Like, I can't wait to see what happens next episode. So many questions, so many things that needs answers, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So, yep. David, make okay. sure you catch up on it and watch next week. And don't eat. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. All right. It sounds like that is the end of Higurashi. We will move on to Damachi. Ooh, Kudu, yeah. you watched it, right? Yeah. Dude, this show was like, the ending was crazy too. Like, oh man. I, like, this went from like a happy go lucky kid show about this little boy who wants to be a hero to, so like, this is some dark shit right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the one thing I, I just I didn't like though is like they're they're trying to move to different locations to prevent be, getting caught, and yet somehow they run into the fucking monster, the whatever the hell they're called. Um, well, it's because they're being tailed from the from the get go, you know, from the yeah, that, but, that but, one guild. But remember, they stopped though because they were being um, 
um, they were being followed by, uh, I think, Hermes Guild. Right, but then I think they were following them. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure the exact details, but I'm pretty sure they followed them to the point where they're able to kind of figure out the general area that they're in. Think so? So, yeah. Mm. And it basically, like, they set up that trap where they use one of the monsters. Baited, yeah. Yeah, and then that's what drew them out. Because they didn't catch the whole crowd. They just catch one of the groups, right? Which had Wiener in it, so. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, I still thought it was, like, a solid episode. It's definitely going, like, deep. But the only part is that I, I kind of thought it was, uh, that was a little bit lame is, like, when Hestia was saying, like, oh, like, you're trying to get these guys together. I'm like, I'm like, you've been talking to, to Vine. Like, it, it basically seemed like, you know, she was okay with it. But, she, mm-hmm. but then, like, in the bigger picture, she's just, like, making it sound like it's going to be harder or, like, not, I don't want to say, like, not okay with it, but, um, no, no, I just thought it, was, it, it is going to be difficult, though. That's well, well, yeah, it is. But it was at, the, at the time, though, it seemed like Hestia was kind of okay with it, but then again, like I said, like, the bigger picture, I guess it could be more difficult. Right. I was right. also kind of wishing they never would have showed Fells. I was really hoping Fells was going to look different. <laughs> I was so disappointed, dude. Yeah. It was a, it's a fucking skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just extremely basic. I'm like thinking they should have just kept that secret. Oh, I, dude. That, that was so disappointing. I, I, I thought, I mean, I, I knew, like, you know, obviously you could see Fells' oh, arms. So, like, you knew it was yeah. coming, but at the same time, you were still holding hope, like, okay, something crazy's got to be under that mat. And then it was just basic, basic. I no, was very I'll, disappointed. I was expecting this was like super hot, dark hair chick to like be underneath that hood. <laughs> <laughs> I. Well, actually, how this show goes, they, it definitely has a lot of waifus, so I wouldn't have put it past it. If this was season one, it would have been a hot waifu underneath that hood, bro. But nope, this is season three. We got to be mature. We got to be dark about this. And they threw in the skeleton. And oh, God. So, I mean, so... I, I can respect it. Like, it was a nice, like, at least they're keeping the direction or, like, the, the atmosphere the same, right? Like, they're, they're being consistent. So it, I mean... it's fine, I guess. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> I was still hoping for something different, but um, no, no, so, me too. But I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do we know is Uranus a good guy or a bad guy yet, or or do we still think he has his no, own? I still think he's good. I, I say he's good because okay. basically he just wants uh like everyone to be happy, right? Yeah. So he he's noticed that these are intellectual monsters. You know, they just want to live happily too. Like, what's what's really different from them and human beings, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. we're all like, we're all beings of of, of uh, like of in- intellect. So yeah. you know, we're aware of certain things. We're able to, to decide between good and bad. You know, there's really nothing different except for like our physical anatomy. Right. So yeah, um, he, I, I think this. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, and then, like he explained it pretty well too. You know, like you know when when humans die, they go to heaven and they get reborn down to earth. Like so, what happens to the monsters? It's kind of the opposite. They die and go to the tower, and then they get reborn in the tower as through monsters. the dungeon. Yeah. Right. So, like, it, it makes, sense makes sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh God. Oh, what was I gonna say? Yeah. This. There's. I think the entire this entire monster party is gonna be wiped out except Vina. <laughs> uh, I'd say maybe one or two. Yeah, for sure. One or two. Yeah, I don't know. There's too many no names in that group that just don't matter. I think they're all gonna be gone. I think the 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 spider chick is gonna be saved. Weenie is gonna be saved. And oh, spider chick's else. dead. I, I definitely think spider chick's dead. Oh, okay, yeah, but and then I'm sure, like, I want to say that that one strong monster that that's new to the group that was sent training somewhere, he might just come out of the blue and save everyone. I feel like that's what they're setting up to be. Okay, yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's I don't know. I, I actually do like the direction they're going. It's definitely like a lot more like kind of like dark, kind of serious undertones. Yeah, I mean, um, there were consequences. There's tension, you know. Yeah. There's a sense of urgency, like they're they're consistent with their direction and the storytelling. Like I'm I'm loving it. You know how it's like we're talking about how season two had no plot or this pacing is good too. Yeah, like this I, I did, yeah. part, it's been pretty darn spot on. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing I have against this this season so far. Yeah. Um. But my predictions are I, I just think like just about the entire monster party is gonna be wiped out. I think. Um. And then I think like then um, I don't know if the new if the new one's gonna or if the new uh person's gonna come maybe actually that does sound like it would be like it would be it like the the new the new monster or the or the stronger monster would come out of nowhere and maybe save them or yeah you know some or most of them i can see that or i can also see the the um, uh the lizard guy coming in and trying and basically like saving or at least just uh you know getting the survivors out of there at least yep right. or, or just being able to buy time and kind of like just uh 
get past the situation. Right. That's right. Although, otherwise, it can go in the opposite direction where everyone dies, and then that's the catalyst that sets Bell off to become yeah. stronger. Yeah. But that's so cliche and overdone. Like, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they don't do that. They don't do that. It'll be that new monster, and then yeah. they'll still be able to develop the story like fairly yeah, right. well. Right. So, yeah. But, I don't know. Oh man. I don't I mean I, I really don't have much more to talk about. It's but it because it, it was a lot of kind of like a little bit it was a lot of uh kind of like in a sense lore dump just because we just because we were learning about just like how the mon- like you know how the monsters came to be just right. like how like when they thought like the monsters were extinct mm-hmm. like they actually basically were reborn reborn and they somehow like were able to uh like uh get a conscience in a sense where they where some of them can talk not all of them can talk. But right. apparently they can pick up stuff fast. I guess like if if they if they can talk, they can pick it up fast. Right, right. Um, it kind of makes me want to like play the game again and see if there's anything that we're missing that we can pick up, or actually just read the light novel or whatever to right. pick up all the details. But yeah, because this is like some very like deep shit. They're dropping a lot of lore on you. They're going more into detail about like the monsters and then, like the origin of all the monsters in general and kind of yeah. like the, the the purpose of this dungeon, right? Like, yeah. what's really the purpose of this dungeon? So, yeah, yeah, lots of things being dropped. I feel like there's no way they can do it justice. So oh, I'm sure they're yeah. still, like, leaving stuff out. Mm-hmm. And it'll be something that you'd want to know. Yeah. We, 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 I mean, with this being JC staff, it's per, it's about 99% positive that they've been leaving stuff out. Right. But even with JC staff, I think they have, like, this season, I think it's been it's been pretty solid. Spot on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this story, I think, is way better than than season two. Yeah. Or season two could have been better, but pacing was terrible, like we've mentioned before. But dude, just think know. of just think of like season two as like Dragon Ball GT, you know? Like yeah. <laughs> there there is no GT, just Dragon Ball Z and then Super. That's that's all you gotta worry about. Uh, you know? Dude, but this season has actually brought like I'm actually like excited about this show again. Like when mm-hmm. I got debated when I was so excited about season two coming out, and then you know what happened happened. And then um and then just I, I don't know, but this is actually like it's it's I think I'm up to like is it my top three probably like most excited shows I'm like uh, I'm looking forward to every week mm-hmm. with uh with the Jujutsu Kaisen number Jujutsu Kaisen is still like my number one um Fire Force is still my number two and then I don't know man Haikyuu like just like how haiku has been going like that's actually been slowly creeping up there even you know with what? uh I mean all my Fridays and Saturdays are good that's, yeah that's all I that's all I Basically can say just packed. <laughs> Basically, I get done with work Friday and immediately have to watch everything and then just get on for the podcast. Uh, but I mean, that's I think that's really all I got. It's just, I mean, there's we, I think we kind of uh went over like what we think each path can be. I think it's going to be one of those paths. I don't think we missed anything. Yeah, true. Uh, the what next, is, yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, the next couple episodes are going to be a banger too. I feel like, uh, oh, yeah, because it's like. Because depending on like, what happens, I mean, a lot of like monsters can die. I think this is basically gonna like what's ever gonna happen. It's basically gonna make like B- uh, Bell. He's just gonna realize like this is what he's going to do. He's going to like mm-hmm. you know save them. Because it, it, it always seems like kind of like Bell. You can just tell like he doesn't really trust or he's weary of them. I guess like I think it was just kind of um, uh, they pointed out the fact or they they showed it like when he was like re- um, going to when he first went to go shake the the, the lizard guy, the lizard guy's uh, hand and he was just like terrified not not terrified but scared to do it and then at the end of their meeting he was like a lot more comfortable with it and mm-hmm. then um it also sounded like too like you know bell was going to do whatever they could that whatever he could for the so the monsters could actually live among them uh, up uh, on the top even though i like when they mentioned that i keep feeling like that kind of set some death flags up like when uh like when the lizard man like he was mm-hmm. saying like how he wants to like see the sunset again or at least or like at least once Thinking, oh man, I can easily see this guy like he's getting up to the sunset and just taking like and just de- just dying just uh, depressingly, like right after. I and mean, I, I hope not. I really hope that they they actually solidify like um, a majority of, like these monsters like in the in the actual cast and not have it just be like for this, not have it be like just for the season or just for like, the the story, where you know, like you know they where they they go through the whole thing and like you know seventy five percent of them die, eighty percent of them die. I'm actually hoping like majority of them can make it through. So I think there would actually be a pretty interesting cast, and just like, uh, just where the story goes from here, when monster, when the monsters actually kind of you know mingle with humans, would be a uh, pretty cool to see. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no, it'll, it'll it'll be something different for sure. Like, yeah. 
like I said, I'm, I'm loving the, the the change in direction that they're going with season three. So, um, what are the odds of them like like teasing Bell's like like grandpa like Zeus? Like, I wonder if they'll be able to introduce like the old school uh, familias. The the only way I would see that happening is like if 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 they would have mentioned somewhere in the story like that Zeus had like a big like a big part in that or something, but they haven't said anything like that. Like I think if if they ever mention anything like oh Zeus like loved the monsters or something like that, I think like boom, we're gonna hear more about that stuff later on at some point. But uh, if they haven't, but since they haven't mentioned it yet, I don't know. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to wait and see, but. I'm I'm pretty excited though. Like, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. These, these last few seasons, I'm actually, or not seasons. <laughs> these last few episodes, yeah, it's been pretty say, good. I'm actually, I'm I'm finally getting back into like uh, being hyped for the show. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. All right, I believe I am good to go for that as well. Um, so, uh, the last show I can talk about that I watched was Standing on a Million Lives. Yeah, so I actually watched it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's still, like, (laughs) interesting, but it's not as, like, dude, that's some bullshit. Like, touch to me, you know? That's so dumb, where it's like, like, they they face off against bandits, and they're like, oh, no, level penalty. You can't do that. It's like, what, what, that just seems like the, like, the, the deck is stacked against them. I thought that was just a really dumb moment. And then they have, like, the, they send, like, the, the knights or, like, the, or the army after them, and she can just yeah. just lop them in half, and it's fine. I'm like, I mean, they're not you know game characters or anything, but still, yeah, just character development, like character growth. Uh, yeah, that stupid mechanic where they can't fight other humans, even if like it's for self defense. Yeah, or yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. It's it's getting to be pretty damn stupid now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm. <laughs> I, I was so confused with what was going on. Like somehow they ran away, and then the blonde hair chick got kidnapped somehow. And then never like, mention it. No. Yeah, never mention it. And then they like for some reason like the dude wanted to split off instead of like try to rescue her right away. Like he was willing to sacrifice her. Like the the, the change in, in in character of the MC, and then with the stupid rules I was like put in place. Yeah. Like I think that really like messed up. Uh, like the like the story for me like yeah well, none well, of it made sense yeah the mc keeps going back from like saying like oh i'm gonna pre- protect these guys i'm gonna you know get whatever done basically be like yeah they can just wait there and i'll I'll finish it off i'm like i thought we've already passed this part uh i mean mm-hmm. i'm gonna probably just continue i'm gonna just keep watching this show just because it's because i'm not watching that like actually that too many or too many shows this season so i'm just gonna continue like i don't completely hate it yet i kind of just want i still want to see like where it goes and how they kind of um, how to do this, I guess. But I mean, other than that, though, I mean, I don't really have much to say. Like they, because they're still. What were they riding? They, it wasn't horses. They were, were they like magic? Were they like magic horses? Like wooden horses? Uh, uh I don't know. Something. It's it's some kind of device that's kind of like a horse-drawn carriage, but not really. Like because they're not even driving it anymore. They're just yeah. sitting in the back of the in the wagon or the carriage. Yeah, because they were saying like, I'll give you one horse. I'm pretty yeah. sure I didn't see that one horse. I saw like mechanical horses or yeah, magic horses. Yeah, so I guess horses in, in their world isn't actual horses. It's mechanical vehicles that are shaped like horses, I guess. I'm not Oh sure. yeah, I didn't think about that. Right. So okay. yeah, it, it was really weird. Like I said, the, the story just like <laughs> didn't make sense yeah. this episode, you know? Uh it, it like maybe it's because we just watched it today and I didn't have time to really think about it, but yeah, a lot of the stuff didn't make sense to me. I don't know. It, like, it, it seemed like it had like such a strong kind of like previous premise, and then now I'm just like, eh, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. I'm also tired about like, like I'm I'm fine with like the I'm I'm always okay with like the main character you know growing, but I'm right. I'm just, I, like I don't like, I hate seeing how like, basically the main character just gets shafted in a sense, but then like whatever whatever he's oh. facing or going against. It yeah. just happens to be like the thing that he needs the most at that moment. I'm thinking, come on, right? It's very <laughs> niche, on. but it, it it's perfect for what's going to happen. Yeah. I also like how they threw like Fate Stay in here by throwing in Berserkers. <laughs> God, yeah, I don't but know, they, man. I, like how they how they made a Berserkers sound though. That actually sounded like a like it sounded legit. Where it's just basically it's like yeah, 
it's like, it was some guy that was like eating people and became a berserker. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, but yeah, that makes sense. At least they have that. They have that. Uh, that part that they gave us. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Other than that, though, I mean, the other girl, the main night girl, she's I, she's actually seems interesting, but at the same time, kind of fucked up. <laughs> she reminds me of darkness in a way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. She's basically like this world's darkness. Yeah, but yeah. She's but, actually useful. Yes, like I actually like this character more than majority of the main cast. Uh, more just because like her her character is just ridiculous. Like, when she first is like, "Oh man, I love cutting flesh," and the guys just like, "The fuck, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Get me out of here!" Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I was thinking like, "Damn, this is the darkness." Except she can hit shit instead of uh, you know, missing everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I guess she has that that fetish too, so that's gonna be kind of weird. I mean, I, I love it, but it, it's gonna be kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, but I'm assuming now that the like the other chick in the party that's a warrior, maybe she'll be useful after the, the so-called training. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, my God. Yeah, it's like, it's like what we're mission three. Was it mission three or four? I can't remember what what they're on right now. I think they're still on four because okay. they yeah, they need to make it to that town on the west edge to complete their mission or whatever. Okay. Yeah, they're on, that they're on this mission and she still can't and hasn't done anything yet. So at some point, it's got to be like her her kind of story to talk to tell soon. You'd think, but anyway, I will continue the show. But I got nothing else. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, they can turn it around. But man, they really yeah. dropped the ball this episode. Yeah. Um. So that is all the shows I am watching. Uh, Koo, was there anything you would like to mention? Oh God, I've watched so many other shows, but uh... the ones you'd like to mention, like I'm watching Climbing Girls, but I can't really. I don't know if they're. Well, actually, okay, let's give it a shot. Can we talk about Climbing Girls? Um, uh, sure. What do you want to talk about? Go for it. Oh God. Um. So I mean, they're going through the th- the parts that actually make sense. Where obviously she needs stamina. Like she's not gonna just gonna be. Even though she can somehow like just like calculate and pre- like just see every single route. For a, like a route up, like you know the rocks or whatever it is, but you know they're kind of like going over the the, the part like where she's going to need to build stamina, um, and uh, w- when they're trying to do like the like was it the rock climbing to basically just build like um, where is it the monkey rock or whatever like where the the rock that monkeys can't climb something like that. Yep. Um, it's it's but it's also I definitely also feel like this this shows on uh on speedrun mode just because like there seems to be like there's a it seems like there's a tournament like every other fucking week and we've only been we're only in like what three episodes i think i mean it's every other month but they're just like you know fast, every other month my bad, my bad right yeah. which is fine because it's like because they're just pointing out the like the main parts of the training arc um yeah at least with this aspect on in they make it more realistic right like yeah. other than the fact that this super gamer girl is able to calculate the perfect route by just looking and doing some random shit that's weird yeah like the, yeah. everything else seems to be fairly realistic and, um, yeah. you know, like I guess relatable in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't mind it at all. Like pacing, like for some reason, this actually has pretty good pacing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still watching it. Like it's, I'm still watching it, but it's like the show that I watch like when I eat, <laughs> because I feel like I don't have to really focus too like hard into like the story or dive deep into it. You kind of get kind of get the idea of what's going on when you're watching it. Yeah, except like one of the like, uh, I don't know one of the characters that they introduced. I thought was like one of the dumbest characters was that that chick that's like a she's like kind of like the, the 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 fox in a sense where she's like telling the the chick like oh like you gotta like go to this thing and try to like or, like where she's basically telling her the wrong information mm-hmm. and of course the you know, MC being the MC just eats it all up and then yeah. you know fails and then mm-hmm. she's like ha got you good you bitch <laughs> and then it, then it was like that whole kind of like, I just thought that kind of that that whole uh, that part was just. Like it every an, every OP anime uh, MC has to like fall for one or two tricks before they get really good. I guess like they gotta yeah, have yeah. that downfall to grow. So I mean, yeah. it means very stereotypical. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, but, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, that's another show we're watching. If you pref- if you uh, viewers, if you'd like to uh, for us to talk more about the show, just let us know, and we can. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> we know, can. I can. I can care, fo- man. <laughs> and I can focus more on uh, remembering what's going on in that show. But uh, okay, now I think I believe that's the only other show that I, I watched that I could even mention. But cool, are there any other shows you'd like to mention? Um, so a show that I found to be very surprising that I picked up and I'm like I'm enjoying is the Romeo and Juliet one, kind of uh, the Tanaka one, Tanakawa or whatever. Like our last crusade, uh, Kimito Boku no Saigo. Oh jeez, oh I want to watch that, but of course you know I haven't had any time either. 
Right. Like, it's basically a Romeo and Juliet story. Uh, you know, like, the girl is from the witch faction, and then the guy is from the, like, empire faction, right? Um, it's em it's people versus witches, and then, you know, these two just want to fight for a peaceful world, and they have the same ideals, but they're from two different worlds. And, of course, they fall in love, and then they have these, like, cliche, like, moments where they meet up with each other. Um I think there's only yeah it's it's an episode three or four right now. Uh, so far, like the chemistry between the two characters, are done fairly well. The story is enjoyable. Um, it's it's nothing like like amazing, but it's 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 enjoyable. So I would I would pick that up if you like these kind of Romeo Juliet kind of stories. If this, um, if this season was impact, I like definitely be on my watch list. <laughs> Right now, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm dropping uh, Adachi Toshimamura. It's it, I just lost it with this week's episode. Uh, Talentless Nana, I'm gonna drop it too, just because I don't feel like it's has enough uh, like impactful content for me to keep watching it. I already dropped. I already dropped it last week. Yeah, and then. Uh, I think I'm going to drop Noblesse too. Like it's starting to pick up, but I, <laughs> I still do not care for the characters or the, the direction that they're going in currently. So I don't know if Taylor is still watching it. But uh, I just realized that I totally forgot to watch it this week. 100%. It didn't even cross my mind and my eyes skipped over it on my list. <laughs> there you go. Noblesse is being dropped. Good job. Man was. Um, I will no, I will watch it, but I have nothing to contribute this week. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, so for Noblis, uh with this week's episode, basically the union caught up to M twenty one, uh the, the guy that's kinda like the what's the word? The the criminal that's on the loose, I guess. But yeah, uh he was fighting out of Union, and apparently they're trying to bring him back to gather information about Wait, his mission who, or did whatever. Did you watch the OVA yet? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> I figure I drop it in his own point then. So. Right. Right. So it's, I don't know. Just I'm I'm not digging the characters. Like I I feel no attachment to any of them, and it's like the storyline is just not interesting to me at all. Even so. just hearing you talk about it bored me. Like I don't know. There you go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. And then like they're trying to be funny too. Like they they have a lot of like comedic uh, conversations. It's just like the theme of this like, week, man. It's just <laughs> these authors I don't know. need some comedy training. <sighs> yeah, like if if I really think about it, this week, um, I think Don Machi was the only show this week that had some kind of like uh, like jokes and put into the storyline, even though it was like a like a serious tone. And it actually pulled it off well. Like with Damachi, uh, there was a point where like Hestia and Orano was having a serious conversation about like these monsters and who knew about it. And then apparently like Ganesha, like the the, the god of like uh like the gladiator god or whatever that does the, the Colosseum fights with the monsters, he knew about it the whole time. But like his character is so ridiculous that it's kind of surprising that he was able to keep it a secret or like even be of assistance to Orano in, in this like like crazy dangerous mission. But uh, yeah, like these other shows, they they try they have like a serious tone with their storyline, and then they drop like these like these jokes in that try to be funny that just that doesn't hit right with you. Like it doesn't just doesn't make sense why they would put it there. Uh, and Noblesse has been doing it for the past three episodes, so I'm just I just don't think they they know how to like drive a joke and have it uh, like sit well with you. So I just don't think that Noblesse knows how to do anything. Like I just don't think anything yeah. about the show is good. Like to be honest. Yeah. Like the the this like the main character, like they, they try to have him clean up after people and he was trying to use a vacuum, but he didn't know that he had to plug it in or whatever. Like this guy is so useless, he has yet to do anything productive on this show. So besides the I don't OVA, maybe the OBA. Besides, right, right. besides OBA, but your your point so sans school. No. Right. You know, it's like what's what am I watching? Like what is the point of the story? Like what am I being drawn into? I don't really yeah. care for the world. I don't care for the characters. What are you trying to solve me, sir? Why should I well, pay attention? It's basically our world with like annoying vampires. Like that's all it is. Like it's just like I don't know. There's just nothing endearing about it at all to me. Yeah. Ugh. So yeah, I mean, but the Nikiburo is still pretty damn good. <laughs> I guess. 
Uh, I don't know if you watched this week's episode or not, Taylor. Which one? Uh, Ikebukuro. I did watch this week's episode. And actually, I have conflicted thoughts about it. Because normally when I watch stuff, I really... I, I don't try to think ahead that much for, like, predicting things. Uh-huh. I enjoy kind of just, like, experiencing them as they come. And staying mm-hmm. in the moment. So I rarely predict things. But I remember the second that YouTube onion guy showed up. I was like, this guy's faking it all. This is just for views. <laughs> like, this is all yeah. like a conspiracy. Or this is all just a, an agreement. And so I was a little bit disappointed when I, when I saw, oh, yep, that's exactly what's happening. Just because it was like, I mean, I don't think it was supposed to be like, in, you know, a dramatic episode anyways. It's not like a big reveal or anything. But mm-hmm. it was still a little bit disheartening to know exactly how the whole thing was going to go right from the first couple minutes yeah um so it's probably my least favorite episode of the season so far but i'm still gonna watch it because i love this show and i don't know why <laughs> like when are we going to get back on the plot device right gang wars okay. like where where so, is okay. my gang wars <laughs> you know I, re- I read a little bit more about this online okay. and it sounds like it sounds like the the manga like people who have read the manga are really conflicted basically there is some really good gang set up like in the middle part of the series but a lot of it is meat and potatoes and the very last arc is like like of the manga is like where like just something completely out of nowhere that doesn't tie into anything else and ends kind of anticlimactically so if that gives you an idea sounds like the author had some some like cool ideas to bring in but just didn't have a good way to pace it out in arcs if that makes sense so i don't think it's going to be anything groundbreaking but i still enjoy it Everybody's got to have a guilty pleasure. This one's mine. I guess. Like, you know, honestly, at this point, <laughs> I feel like it's just like an anime Seinfeld. Like, nothing really happens, <laughs> right? No, no. It, re- it so. really doesn't. I can't argue with you there. I So I probably wouldn't, <laughs> right? I probably wouldn't talk about it again. I, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I just like it. So I'll keep yeah. watching, but I don't need to talk about it. Yeah, no, like I said, I'll keep watching this, but like the other shows like Noblesse, Adachi, I'm probably just going to drop because there's just nothing that's really pulling me in to keep me to committed to it. So, um, I will say for shows that I'm watching, I watched uh, finally episode two of that Moriarty show came out this week. And I think Moriarty might be a show that is kind of like a dark horse. I think it could be really good. It's, hmm. like, completely outside of all of my interests, too, and I still like it. Like, I really don't like stuff, generally, that has, like, the strong European background, at least in anime. It doesn't mm-hmm. tend to be my thing. I definitely have traditionally hated everything to do with Sherlock Holmes my entire life. Um, despite all of these things, I'm really liking the show, and I think it could go somewhere really interesting. Like, t- this week they went... Um, David, I think you're the only one watching this. Nobody else is yeah. watching this, right? Nope. Not me. Yeah, this week they went into the history of Moriarty and how he ended up being who he's going to be. And it, it's an arc that we're going to learn more in the next episode, I think. But um, it was it was really interesting. It was really well done. The characters are super likable and interesting. And there's it's got a little bit of everything. It does have a little bit of humor, but it's got like politics. It's got drama. It's got just really good character writing. And I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I'm just here for the the 4D chess and the 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 smug smart asses. <laughs> but I enjoyed well, the first episode, so I yeah, I want I want to keep watching it. When I can. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you should watch it. We could, it, it, it might it really might be a good one worth talking about if anybody else is interested. If you've dropped something and you want to pick up something else, it might be an option. Oh, I mean, I'm still watching a bunch of the other isekai shit shows and other uh, guilty pleasures mine so i'm I'll, I'll be busy fortunately uh but yeah i mean that's basically all the shows that i want to like touch base on so i'm like yeah i'm way behind the only other the only other show that i want to watch is still um the it became god just because i'm really curious and how that show is gonna be so but also like this season's really packed and then next season's gonna be packed too so there's gonna be like no breaks for like for anything and i don't even know if spring's gotta like give us a rest because usually like a lot of things about in spring as well so plus this, this season's already packed and we gotta we gotta attack on titan in 
what, dude, like winter? A, oh my god, fucking winter is gonna be like I know winter is jam packed. I'm Long sure it's jam packed. <laughs> oh my god, there's just so much shit going on. I mean, hopefully COVID's still a thing and we just have to stay indoors and hopefully, <laughs> anime, right? Okay. Hopefully, I don't know. You don't have to have you COVID are... just to stay inside, Koo. You guys are gonna have to get like a, like an umbrella thing to like pull me off of the podcast when we get started on uh, on Attack on Titan because I'm not gonna be able to shut up. Oh God. It's okay. We'll have. To, we'll, we'll have. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how, <laughs> how things go. Maybe we can. Um, maybe I we like can... how you backtracked there. <laughs> well, because if Attack on Titan ends up being like the big show, I mean, then I, I think then the David Koo, I think we could probably change some time around to like keep that at twenty minutes, and then just like maybe cut some other ones back or something. Yeah, we yeah. could have an Attack on Titan podcast. <laughs> like, do a separate segment. So a whole okay. separate deal, oh, or like. Or we have like we have like the the Attack on Titan section, then we have like after hours, uh, after hours, uh, Attack on Titan pod, uh, yes. talk or some shit like that, like The Walking Dead, <laughs> talking te- talking Titan, whatever. <laughs> oh my lord, yeah. I can't. Anyway, you guys can think about something like that. I'll just you, I'll hang out. You already want the thing. <laughs> I mean, if anything, we'll we'll do the timer. Yeah. I mean, but I love Walking Dead, so that's different. Yeah. I hate Walking Dead, but. There. Rude. There. Agreed. I got us an outro. Yeah, that, that's all I got. All right, so I think we just gotta end it for this this week. Yeah, yeah, I'm really behind, and also next week I have two exams and two programming homework assignments too. So we'll see. We'll try to carry next week again. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you might have to carry again next week. I can't make any promises. So I'll try, but I'm getting old, man. Main ones. At, at the My very least, hurt, bro. <laughs> at the very least, I'll keep up with Fire Force because I want I want to be there with you, with all of you guys, and then probably Jujutsu Kaisen because I think it's like the one, the I guess the one I'm looking forward to the most every week. So honestly, David, I would say catch up to Haikyuu. Haikyuu is actually getting good again. I read. Uh, I, what I, you I read? read? I know. I'd rather. Oh, like, okay. I would rather. <laughs> I ever have other shows catch up than a sports. Anime, I was gonna say, dude. So. I thought you were about to say I read. I'm thinking you <laughs> slut. No, that's Peter. <laughs> okay. I oh, rather, I'd rather okay. catch up other shows, and I I can I can binge on IQ later. It's not a priority dude, for me. David, if, if Brian ever comes back, he's gonna be hyped about this show. You gotta yeah, be part of I it. I barely talk about IQ as it is, so you know. Not at the keep show. Keeps the Nekoma. <laughs> Oh, I wonder dude. if I, I wonder if Brian finds Kudo as beautiful as I do because that was really the highlight of this week. Uh, <laughs> I think he's a couple episodes behind, so I'm pretty sure he hasn't watched because I received no message about last week's episode. If he watched it and he did not tell me, I'm very, I'm very disappointed in him. Oh, well, why would he tell you, man? He's not on the podcast, so. No, but I told him to text me. I told him to text me, but he watched it. <laughs> wow. And I received no text. Wow. God. All right, so that's gonna be it for this week's episode. <laughs> we're gonna leave it there. On that note, <laughs> well, I thank the audience yeah. for joining us this week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I know Thanks, we, we, we didn't really get much in this week's episode, so hopefully we'll continue. We'll do better. I don't know. Just yeah, we'll just hopefully, hopefully next better. week we'll have more yeah conversations I can't and stuff make and discussion next week. But hopefully we'll do better after that. I want, yeah. thank, I want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks for carrying my no sorry, problem, man. Thanks for carrying my sorry ass. I couldn't hey, pull my weight. You're a busy guy, dude. Couldn't pull my weight this week. No worries. Gonna lose hosting privilege soon. It's okay. This is a democracy. <laughs> uh, yeah. For now. Yeah. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.